Hello. Um, right, I thought I'd do a little video on how to do your own repo. Because I've been asked a few times and I thought it'd just be easier just to do it at once. Uh, a lot of people don't use GitHub because it's not 100% secure. and But if you're not too bothered, use GitHub. If not, you'll have to sort of somewhere else. Why use GitHub? I've never had a problem with it. So, yeah. So sign up to it. Um, create your repository. Two seconds, let me just sign in. Be easy to show. Right, it's been a while since I've done mine originally, so I'm not 100% how it looks when you first start off, but we'll just assume it's something like this. Then up here, go to create a new, new repository, click on that, and obviously I've made two so far. And then when you've done that, you've created it, press on it clone or download and press open in desktop that'll take you to um, that'll take you to a page to download github github desktop which is what you need which is somewhere on here I have just seen it which is this it's just a shell that you run everything in and then upload it and do all your changes two seconds while it loads it does take a second sometimes but yeah anyway while that's loading you download that then sign into it and it should give you an option to clone your newly created repo or something twice so yeah over here you won't have none of these just go to clone and they give you the option that so signed in as me just press on that and then this should be an option to clone it so clone it down here you see these are stuff i've updated before so that'll pull it onto there. You won't actually have any of this on there. You should just have your initial commit, which will be obviously the very first one. Yeah, so I've done quite a few. But yeah, down down there. Well, obviously at the top here, you'll have um, initial commit. So that's that pretty much set up. Then I'll put in the. Um, description a link to this bootleg repo and pause you again I'll show you it because it's obviously got a load of other stuff in there too so, so yeah this is it it'll come as a zip I'll just show you it'll be in a zip I'll upload it as a zip because obviously it's easier to send zipped up and this is all it'll be you'll have an empty repo folder that will be created in a bit um, license readme.md and then tools, tools is the only one you want to worry with um, this is for the version number of your repo, just a repo you got generate repo which is all the python coding which does it all I'm not sure who does this, it'll probably tell you and it tells you up the top here they've done a pretty good job it's nice and easy to use so fair play to them that's all that you ain't got to worry about that that's all set up uh, template I think it uses that to create your repo stuff your config to I and I I and I that's what you want which is this so put your name as whatever you want it to be ID repository dot origin that's what I've called it obviously you just call it repository dot something else that'll be the folder path I believe in Cody so make sure you put repository and when I'm making the folders I'll stick to lowercase this one that's gonna work I think I had a problem the ones with uppercase and lowercase I can't remember but there's a reason I've done it 
uh, version number 1.01 author whatever we want to put summary a short summary description uh, we'll put a description and then URL this is the important bit really so you've got raw dot github user content dot com that will stop the same on yours let's keep that the same plus I'll change this to change me and documents now won't because that's my one uh, two seconds I'm going to do the right one config so yeah where I've put in change me here and change me there you want to change them uh, so I'll just change all this yeah I've got all my stuff So yeah, so see where it says change me, dot change me, or shouldn't have clicked on that. All I've got there, you see before it was that, so where you've got your page onto the repo you want it to be using, so you actually opened it, so that's my main page. That's my repo, just grab them two, stick them in there. And at the end, stick master on it. It seems to need that. So stick that on there. So you want that. Raw.github user content.com slash whatever slash well whatever your main page name is. And then whatever the repo page is, slash master. Save that, and that's set up basically. You drop whatever add ons you want, or whatever add ons you've got, into this folder here, like I have on my, on my one. There we go. So you see, you stick them outside just in this folder. So I've got all my add-ons there. It creates this repository one. These are all my own add-ons. Yeah. Apart from obviously script DOM module URL resolver. That's just because of the other video I've done with the issue of it rolling over. Um, 3.0. It was causing issues. So I put that into my repo so I could import it from there because it was causing a bit of headache but yeah that's something else so yeah that's all you do put them in there any changes you do change the add on the XML as long as it's higher it creates a new MD5 so once you've put all them in there what you want to do is go and double click on this create repo and then that will generate everything in this folder plus your repository one which is a then zip up or you can take it from here your repository it just basically creates all the zips for all of these plus your add-ons.xml and md5 this is what Cody reads I believe and it tells you what's in here and what to download and whatever so that's how it pushes the updates so when it checks it'll check these two folders on the sheet well I'm pretty sure and then if there's if this version number's higher so say I'll push 1.06 next it'll just update it so yeah it, it really well set up to be fair just press on that twice does it all for you as long as everything's changed properly, it'll update. And then once that's done, 
what you got to do is come over here, put a name in the summary, whatever, press commit to muster, that will spin, eventually it will say it's committed, sometimes you get an error, bit of a nightmare to get around, I'll just normally just wipe it and then start again or delete it off the computer, re-clone it, sometimes it's easier. Okay, so once that's done, just make sure you press sync. This is what makes it live. This is what uploads it to GitHub, and then obviously it'll push the updates through to whoever's got your repo installed. And that's pretty much it. It's not hard, it takes a bit of getting used to it first. I sat there for three days, not knowing that you had to commit stuff. Oh no. I shouldn't have done that. But yeah, I didn't know you had to commit stuff. So I just didn't have no clue. I was sat here pressing that sync, trying to press it hard to see if it would work. But yeah, just put something in the summary, whatever you want. Commit it, sync it, done. If there's a couple of you sharing the GitHub and you're both working on projects, before you do anything in the folder, that I've now closed. Before you do anything in your folder in here, uh, your documents, yeah, before you do anything in there, make sure you sync. Because if someone's done any changes on their computer or and they've synced it to GitHub, you try and change stuff and then you try to sync it without getting their changes it causes a bit of bother so if there's a couple of you working on it just make sure before you do anything sync it do your changes commit sync again and they'll have to do the same um i think that's pretty much it so yeah like i say, i'll put the bootleg thing in the description just so you can download it and um because i can't remember where i got it from I might be able to get it actually. Um, what's it called? Cody Repo Bootstrap. Yeah, but oh, and this is the one I've done it. See if you put Cody Repo Bootstrap, that'll save me host in it. So it and it's in here somewhere. That's the actual thing. Yeah, there you go. That's all you need, really. Um, if you download that. If you download that, I think if you press on it, then press raw somewhere. Yeah, press raw. It'll download it. Uh, well, it's up to you for download that button now. Yeah, press for all, you should download it. Or am I lying? Alright, maybe not. Just copy and paste that into a file then. Maybe if it zips, it downloads it. But yeah, that's all you need to do. Put them four in a folder inside your thing. There was a write up about it. This looks promising. Yeah, bar art and this seems to be the boat that's done it. So yeah, that's it. That's it. That's the one you want. And it says all that. Download the master zip. So that's what you want. Download that and that'll give you the folder that I was gonna host, but it's on there anyway, so you might as well grab it off there. Okay. I think it's reasonably straightforward, so hopefully you'll be all right with that. And if I think of anything else to do, I'll do some more videos as and when. I haven't done them for a bit because I've been a bit busy, but just thought I'd do this one quick. Alright, I'll see you next time.